The cameras are fixed to one man. What a fabulous start to the season for him. Does he have more goals in his future? Stay with us. Hello, great to be with you. We're here in Stratford at the London Stadium, a ground built originally for the Olympics in 2012. I'm your match commentator, Derek Ray, and sitting alongside me, the former Arsenal, West Ham and Coventry midfield player, Stuart Robson. And looking forward to bringing you action from the Premier League coming right up. It's West Ham United facing Manchester City. Well, thanks, Derek, as always. The scene is set, two good teams, a great playing surface and a vibrant atmosphere. It has all the ingredients for a really exciting game. And a look at the West Ham 11. Well, in this shape, if their wide players stay high up the pitch and get enough of the ball, it's a very attacking lineup. But if they drop too deep, they will then leave the centre forward isolated and it could be difficult for them. And so the starting 11 for Manchester City. Ederson begins in goal. Bernardo Silva plays with Kevin De Bruyne in the centre of midfield. And handed the task of playing up front is Erling Haaland. Potentially exciting 90 minutes here, and Manchester City get the ball rolling. De Bruyne. Back to Holland. Now they stopped them in their tracks. De Bruyne, De Bruyne now, Mares, Hernandez, the ball with Rodri, Bernardo Silva, and blocked for now. He'll be delighted to have won the ball having made that difficult challenge. And that pass could be troublesome. Dangerous looking through ball. Well, the flag was up in good time, bringing that move to an end. Well, he's just got to be more patient there. He's gone too early. Well, not many would debate the point that Erling Haaland is a joy to watch whenever he's out there on the pitch. But what should we expect from him today, Stuart? Well, I think we can expect goals if his form is anything to go by. You just hope that back line have been studying the tapes because most teams have really struggled to keep them at bay. They couldn't maintain possession. Paqueta. Holland. Foden. Well, possibilities in the centre. Foden. Well, that takes the wind out of their sails. Great defending. And it was an impressive performance by Manchester City in their last game as they won against Manchester United. How might this one go, Stuart? Well, the results said it all, didn't it? Brilliant going forward and hard to break down as well. And when you look at the two teams today, I'd expect them to win again. They should be too strong for their opponents here. They're certainly allowing their opponents to come onto them. in the centre Bernardo Silva can't miss surely there is the goal and you could almost see that coming 
They were sitting ever deeper. And now they've really paid the price. Well, I have to say, this is a really good goal. He skips past his marker, and that gives him the space to get his shot away. Excellent stuff from him. And the Hammers get the ball moving again. Will there be a quick reply from them? There needs to be. Well, there's been quite the focus on him coming into today's game. If you believe the story's coming out of the camp, this could be his final season. Could he be thinking about hanging up his boots? Yeah, if the rumours are correct, it's going to be a big loss for the club. They've come to rely on his performances. We all get to that age where it all becomes a little bit harder on the body. He's starting to get to that age, so I wouldn't be too surprised. High quality defending. Oh, far from the ideal pass. Skamaka. That's a very fine piece of tackling. Can he put it in? And a goal! To level this contest! All even! Well, it's a very simple finish in the end, but his movement was really good. He just found himself a bit of space in the box when it mattered most. on the back of that leveller. Rice. Slipshod passing. Foden. He must finish! Denied by the bar. Back in play here. Well, they can keep possession of it now. Well, you sense the goal's coming. They're getting so close now. They just need to take one of these chances. And the cross smuggled away. Well, they won't get too many chances, so they need to make the most of this. So the corner played into the box. And it's a double for him in this game. No way for the opposition to contain him. And no wonder he's off celebrating. Well, here's another look at it. Certainly delivery into the box couldn't have been any better, which makes it a fairly simple finish in the end. It's a really good goal. Well, 2-1 it is here. Foden. Oh, great attacking play. Erling Haaland. Frantic action from one end to the other. They weren't ahead for long. And this match is level again. Well, here it is again. He goes past his marker so easily with just a drop of the shoulder. And Haaland made the finish look easy, as he so often does. It's a lovely goal. And level again here. This has been quite the roller coaster ride.
Well, that's how to beat your opponent. That's how it looked, but full credit to him for atoning for the error. Teo Hernandez. Silva. Phil Foden now. And back with Bernardo Silva. Just cutting off the supply. Lucas Paqueta. Excellent ball over the top. Rice. And not an effort that will live long in the memory. Well, the defenders will be relieved because that was a good chance. From that sort of distance, he should really be hitting the target. It was a really poor attempt in the end. De Bruyne. So the first half comes to an end. Level pegging here. The two teams have been going at each other back and forth. Stuart, what have you made of City's performance? Well, we said they've scored goals and they've certainly been great going forward. But they've also looked open at the back, which has made for a terrific game. I'm sure we'll see more goals in the second 45. Potentially exciting 90 minutes here, and Manchester City get the ball rolling. Options in the centre. Bernardo Silva. There is the goal, and you could almost see that coming. They were sitting ever deeper. So the corner played into the box. And it's a double for him in this game. No way for the opposition to contain him. And no wonder he's offset. Foden. Oh, great attacking play. Erling Haaland. Frantic action from one end to the other. They weren't ahead for long. And this match in Rice. And not an effort that will live long in the memory. Well, the defenders will be relieved because that was a good chance. From that sort of distance, he should really be here. And so the second half gets underway. Almost a case of the two teams saying to each other, whatever you can do, I can do just as well. Rodri. On to Silva. The ball with Rodri. Well, the attacking options appear plentiful. And Bernardo Silva losing out to his opponent. This might be ideal for the counter. Will it be sufficiently imaginative? And the flag has been raised here. Well, there can't have been a lot in that. Here it is now, a substitution. Well, transfer speculation is all part of football and there's been quite a lot of speculation on this front, but the deal has now been confirmed, Stuart. Oh, Derek, there's a chance here. Still could be dangerous. And he clears it out of harm's way. Well, do you sense it's just a matter of time before they do score, Derek? They've been pop it might be. Nicely saved. Well, not giving him any breathing room. Excellent use of advantage from the referee in City's favour. Riyad Mahrez. They've given it away. This attack looks highly promising. Just failing to hit the target. Good effort, though. 
Well, the referee let it go initially, but now he goes back and cautions him, Stuart. Yeah, it's a good bit of refereeing. He tried to let the play continue, and then he came back for the booking. Well, this is the home of live football, EA TV, and we have more action coming up from the Premier League for you. It's West Ham United and facing Brentford. No Useful looking position, you've got to say. Holland. Can he put them in front? And he thought of the attack with a masterful tackle. Lucas Paqueta. Running room in the wide position. A chance to nudge in front, corner kick here. They will now make use of the substitutes bench. And there's the delivery, and clearing it away. No degree of difficulty at all for the keeper. Foden and he read it well City moving the ball forwards what can they do from here a fine reading of the situation Gianluca Scamacca the supporters want to see him have a go. Oh, fine stop. Silva. There's 20 minutes remaining now. Holland. Happy to pass the ball, but remaining patient. I think I spoke too soon. Wasn't the best of passes, finally. Paqueta. And tidily played. Superbly read and executed. Rodri. On to Mares. Erling Haaland. And the ball's gone. Silva. Foden. On to Holland. And there is the goal to re-establish their advantage. Well, as you can see, his movement is really good, which then makes the finish look easy. That's a decent goal, that's for sure. Well, a dramatic moment near the end, and that might well be the decider. Ten minutes to go. Good tackle. Foden. He must finish! And it goes! Two goals in rapid-fire fashion, and looking very comfortable here. Well, just look at his strength here. He holds off the challenge, he keeps his balance, and he finds the back of the net. It's a wonderful goal. Thank you. 
So the current scoreline, 4-2. for goal and in it goes they're getting closer they're not finished yet well this is a very tidy finish as you can see he's under so much pressure but his strength just allows him to hit through the ball cleanly it's an excellent goal Hernandez now. Bernardo Silva. Well, that's how to keep the opposition at bay. Carles Gil. Sola. And Feldman with it here. Well, the action is going to continue for a while yet. We will have four minutes of stoppage time. The clearance wasn't decisive. Lucas Paqueta they get forward but time is very much against them here not out of the woods yet well able to survive that attacking push well there's the final whistle and Manchester City have come out on top in this game your verdict Yes, Derek, there wasn't much in it, to be honest. Really competitive game with chances at both ends, but they probably just about edged it overall and deserve the result in the end. Corner played into the box. And it's a double for him in this game. No way for the opposition to contain him. And no wonder he's off. Foden. Oh, great attacking play. Erling Haaland. Frantic action from one end to the other. They weren't ahead for long. And this match in Rice. And not an effort that will live long in the memory. Well, the defenders will be relieved because that was a good chance from that sort of distance. He should really be hit. Foden. On to Holland. Foden. He must finish. And it goes. Two goals in rapid fire fashion and looking very comfortable. As eyes for goal. And in it goes. Next. Is it all right if we just ask you a couple of questions?
No further questions. Thanks so much. Thank you for your patience. We'll start taking questions now. Okay, guys, we are out of time. Thank you very much for attending. Apologies if you're unable to get a question in. What a mouth-watering prospect this is. Two genuine heavyweights of European football, both with the potential to go all the way. It's difficult to pick a winner here. It is Porto. They face Manchester City, and it's live right here on EA TV. Rain in Manchester, not a new concept. We're at the home of Manchester City tonight. I'm Derek Ray, perched here on the commentary gantry, and sitting alongside me to provide expert analysis is Stuart Robson. And what we have coming up for you is the first leg of this UEFA Champions League round of 16 tie. It is Manchester City facing Porto. Well, thanks, Derek. City have to be the big favourites here. They're a team that could go all the way in this competition. They have such a big squad and some great players. the starting players for Manchester City Ederson between the posts Bernardo Silva plays with Kevin De Bruyne in the centre of midfield and the main threat in attack today should be Erling Haaland And a look at the starting lineup for Porto. Well, it's the basic 4 4 2 formation, but played well, it can be really effective. And key to its success are the wide midfield players. They have to be fit, they need to be able to run with the ball, and they need to double up with their fullbacks. It's a really tough role for them. And now, this Champions League round of 16 first leg begins. Well, the perfect tackle, really. And now a throw-in. And a poor ball. Bernardo Silva. Being egged on by the crowd. And the keeper diving to thwart him. Corner kick played in. And well, the danger is still there. Brilliantly blocked. Rodri. What a crucial intervention inside the box. And showing fine vision. But mistimed his run. Well, he's got the timing all wrong there. He just needs to bide his time.
Well, not many would debate the point that Erling Haaland is a joy to watch whenever he's out there on the pitch. But what should we expect from him today, Stuart? Well, Derek, we know his movement is very clever, but it's the speed of that movement that causes defenders so many problems. He's got great pace, he gets 1v1 against the goalkeepers, and nobody can recover. Now, options are plenty. Evan Nilsson. And a good challenge to bring that attack to an end. Holland. Silva. The ball with Rodri. Mares. And he stopped them in their tracks. Bernardo Silva. Can he convert? Bernardo Silva on target and has scored. Well, just look how he holds off the defender. He keeps his balance and he still hits the target. What a good goal that is. Match has restarted. 1 0 here. Bernardo Silva. Bernardo Silva, and he's through here. And it goes! Two goals in rapid fire fashion, and looking very comfortable here. Well, we won't get tired of watching this because the interplay around the box is wonderful. And then Haaland finishes it with such quality. Just look how much power he hits this with. It's a top-class goal from a top-class player. So the ball rolling again at 2-0. Ottavio. Porto have given us away. How can they create something? It just needs to remain icy cold. And it goes! Well, it's one goal after another. A highly impressive performance. Well, let's see this again. What a pass this is from Mares. But when he shoots, I expected him to go across the goalkeeper. He should never beat the goalkeeper inside that near post. That's not good keeping. Well, the action underway again. So comfortable for City, it's turning into a trouncing. Mares. Decent position. A goal! And I'll tell you what, on this sort of form, very few would lay a glove on them. Well, just look at the setup here. It's such a clever back heel. And what an emphatic strike it is from Bernardo Silva. Hit with his laces. It's a great goal. Lopsided contest, 
Mares. And now Rodri. Holland. The supporters want to see him have a go. Nicely saved. Over it comes. Well, did his job defensively. And Bernardo Silva has it. And that's the hat trick. Tearing apart this defence time and again. They simply can't handle him. Well, here we can see it again, and it's all about the pace of the passing. One touch, slick movement, but should the keeper be beaten at his near post? I don't think so. He really needs to do better in those situations. Well, you've got to say, an incredible first-half performance. That scoreline tells you all you need to know. Mares. Well, that is how to nullify the opposition. This might be the perfect counter attacking opportunity. And the flag has gone up here, offside the decision. Rodri Silva De Bruyne Foden Well clattered away Showing a lot of guile there Bad pass Evan Nilsson. And he could really get at the opposition. Well, tremendous block. Can't get the shot through. Riyad Mahrez. De Bruyne now. A really committed challenge, and it's gone out for a throw in. Riyad Mahrez. Lovely ball over the top. Hernandez. On to De Bruyne. And there is the goal to make it a hat-trick. Excellence in finishing. There for all to see. Well, here it is again. He hits this so sweetly, doesn't he? That's a brilliant goal from a top-class player. Well, we're underway again, and this game was finished as a contest a long time ago. Well, if you're wondering about added time, two minutes it'll be. Tony Martinez. A possession lost, intercepted. Silva. Phil Foden now. Oh, what an opportunity! As eyes for goal! Let's look at this again, Derek, because the transition when the ball changes hands is so quick. And there's certainly no doubt about the finish. He really hits it with power and accuracy. Nothing the keeper can do about that. A 
And so the half-time whistle is sounded here in Manchester. Well, we know what Erling Haaland is capable of, but it's still difficult trying to contain him, as the opposition have found out here. Well, he's been brilliant today. His skill, his movement, his goals, what a good performance, and he's not finished just yet. And now this Champions League round of 16 first leg begins. Bernardo Silva being egged on by the crowd. And the keeper diving to thwart him. Bernardo Silva. Can he convert? Bernardo Silva on target and has scored. Bernardo Silva. Bernardo Silva. Now, can they create something? Mares. A goal! And I'll tell you what, on this sort of form, very few would lay a glove on them. Holland, the supporters want to see him have a go. Nicely saved. to De Bruyne and there is the goal to make it a hat-trick excellence in finishing there for all to see Silva oh what an opportunity has eyes for goal oh yes and they begin the second half in the first leg of this Champions League round of 16 tie Erling Haaland. Haaland. Well, in the end, it was rather straightforward for the goalkeeper, Stuart. Well, he has to do better there. That's a really poor finish. Ottavio. Now, what can they produce on the flank? And a throw in for Porto. Well, that's how to keep the opposition at bay. Now, sometimes in football we take rumours with a pinch of salt, but occasionally the rumours are true, and it could be that Manchester United are about to add to their squad. Well, if we can believe the papers, an official bid has been made. Not too surprising, really, as there have been rumours for quite some while of a move. Hopefully we'll find out over the next couple of weeks. Well, didn't seem to be too much in that offside decision. De Bruyne... Now with Mares. Holland. Now there to intercept. Fabio Cardoso. Now counter attacking possibilities here. Well, it came to nothing in the end. Well, make sure you join us for more Premier League action coming your way. It's Manchester City facing Bournemouth. Well, that's a super ball over the top. Offside, a tight one.
30 minutes to go then. Well, they've lost the ball. Mares. Just wanted to get it out of there. Applying vigorous pressure. Rodri. On to Holland. And he did well to cut it out. Well, he could run onto it here. De Bruyne. Now with Silva. And keeping it out. Well, they have elected to go to the bench at this stage of the game. And there's the delivery. That's a routine take. Eva Nilsson. Martinez. Wendell. Eva Nilsson. And into the last 20 minutes. And Bernardo Silva has it. Porto doing well to regain possession. Well, the conditions look pretty good for the counter attack. It's a good looking ball in behind. Tries to lift it. Oh, cleared off the line. Alert defending. No degree of difficulty at all for the keeper. Holland. Mares. And return to De Bruyne. Not a great pass. Useful looking ball. Has a go. Well, good clean catch by the keeper. Silva. De Bruyne. Really good challenge. Teammates available. Will he find the net? Oh, a powerful effort. Close. Well, here it is again, and quite clearly, it didn't cross the line. Mind you, it was very close. Foden. Good looking move this. Can he finish? And how well the keeper did. Well, that's just exceptional. He reacted so quickly there. And time for the change now. Let's see about the delivery. Well, in fairness, it wasn't the best of headers. Eustachio. Moving forward effectively. Well, he hit it with authority. Close. Substitution for Manchester City. Coming off the pitch, number 20, Bernardo Silva. To be replaced by... Number four, Calvin Phillips.
Phil Foden. The ball with Rodri. Foden. And now it's Phillips. Keeping it moving dynamically. We've had the official word. There will be a minimum of two added minutes. Porto have given it away. Holland. Now with Mares. Holland. Can he put it away? No more time is left. The referee blows for full time. And Manchester City are the team sitting in the box seat at present in the context of this tie. And the shining light this evening, no doubt about it, Bernardo Silva. Well, he fully deserves the match ball. He was outstanding today, both with his skill and movement. What a performance that was. Holland. The supporters want to see him have a go. Nicely saved. to De Bruyne and there is the goal to make it a hat-trick excellence in finishing there for all to see Silva oh what an opportunity as eyes for goal oh yes you cannot strike them any and how well the keeper did well that's just exceptional he reacted so quickly there Time for the... Just a couple of questions for you. Thank you so much for your time.